Hey guys, in this video I will be showing you some of my empties. I will be also giving you a small review on whether I like the product or not and if I would recommend it to you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. I love my Bath & Body Works products and this one is Aromatherapy Lavender and Cedar Wood. This is a shower gel and it's, it's great to like calm you down and it is a very nice soothing relaxing scent so I definitely recommend that and I, I went through a lot of soaps from them and especially from their winter collection because they usually whenever they run sales I'm like going crazy and I'm just like dumping a whole bunch of products in there because I know then when I do need soap or when I once I run out of something it's just, they usually don't run sales when I need them to so I ended up like for the past year or two just over stacking on everything because these are some of my favorite soaps this smells so delicious a lot of the these soaps they will leave your hands smelling so good for a while and unfortunately it doesn't say that it's antibacterial this particular one is with shea extract and eucalyptus it's a gentle foaming hand soap. I prefer these over other ones. I just really like when it like foams up. And next, let's talk a little bit more about like skincare. This is Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. Um, I remember like trying another one before, and I used to like it. I don't know what's going on with this. This is like face and body, all skin types, mild, non-irritating formula. So it says it cleans. I think if you don't wear makeup, you might like this because it is very gentle. It doesn't irritate your skin at all, but it also does not take out your makeup. Like it doesn't do anything. It like just smudges everything. And I don't have to, like I'm not talking about waterproof makeup. I'm talking about just regular, like foundation. Just forget about eyeshadows and like mascara. It's not gonna do it. So if you don't use too much makeup, or this would be good for the morning routine, but definitely do not buy this if you're thinking, oh, this would be the cleanser that I can use at night to wash off my face and clean my face from makeup. It's not gonna be the one. Some hair products here. Um, this is T a Catwalk by T-I-G-I Fashionista. It's like the violet conditioner. So once I started getting highlights, I was told that I need to get like purple slash violet shampoo to prevent brassy looking color which i mean some people might like it i actually don't i prefer to have that ashy look rather than the brassy yellow or like golden color so initially i really liked it because it, it, it like smells so delicious though it smells like nice perfume and my hair smells very good for a while after i used this um i don't think it did too much to my hair in terms of color correcting it. I think it's like an average conditioner. It's nothing crazy. Like I didn't notice, oh wow, this, this really improved my texture. Yeah, so um, in terms of whether I would purchase it, probably not. I would like to try something else. I might try a brand that I bought from Amazon a while back. I, I got their shampoo and I really, really liked it. It was very nice, deep purple concentrated shampoo. Now that really corrected, like color corrected my hair and I was only able to use it once a week like that shampoo because I was afraid it's gonna leave my my hair purple. It was like pretty concentrated. Now this one, um, it's by Joico. It's color balance, like purple shampoo. I have the blue one too. I picked it up when Ulta ha was running like their sales. Now I also do have the conditioner. It's not bad for color correcting, but it I feel like it dried up my hair like once I started using the dual like conditioner and shampoo by this like specific like the specific line even my hairdresser noticed that my hair was like a lot drier and almost like brittle so I would not recommend it for that I have a lot more skincare products too this is aqua 4 ointment body spray advanced therapy and this is for like if you have really really dry skin almost like cracking skin um which i do have in my hands my hands are so dry and i don't know if it's because i work 
in medical fields and I literally wash my hands like every 20 minutes and the, the, the soap in there is very drying it's like super antibacterial but it's very very drying too and so I use this only at night though because it is so greasy that there's no way you can walk around this like during daytime it is super oily and greasy but I put it on for nighttime and I usually just let it dry a little bit and then I kind of pat it with a napkin or a tissue to make sure that it's not like super slimy and in the morning my hands feel great the skin looks noticeably smoother and it's almost like it's healing my skin overnight so this is a great little product I got it in my Walmart beauty box and I will probably repurchase like a bigger size of this next we have Dr. Brent Pore Dermabrasion this is the pore perfecting exfoliator I got it in I believe BoxyCharm a while back and I've used the heck out of it I like used it till the last drop because it was really really good Honestly, like this is the second exfoliator I've tried from this brand and I really really like them. Very good quality, does not irritate my skin. So yes, I would recommend this one. Now this is a um, Niara Beauty Retinol Cream. This was under $20 on Amazon. I can link it down below. It is highly rated. It is super affordable, but it's a wonderful product. It's like organic, made in USA. It's a great price for such a wonderful product. I, I have a lot more creams left to try out, but I will most likely reorder this because the way I like to use it is I would do my serum or moisturizer and then I would add this on top where I tend to have a lot more wrinkles. If you use it along, it could be very drying, especially if you have dry skin. So I definitely recommend using it under or on top of the moisturizer or like serum or oil. All right, a few more skincare products. This is the She Say Do. This is their um, 15 minute express smoothing eye mask. It has like pure retinol in it. It promises to diminish the look of wrinkles. So this is a good one to use in the morning time before you apply your makeup because it does like really even everything out under your eyes, especially if you have like texture to your under eye area. It doesn't really deep off though. I, I kind of expected it or was hoping that it would deep off my area a little bit, but it didn't do that. So, but it did smooth everything out though. So it only comes with three of them, like for three uses. And uh, I got it from Nordstrom Racks for $17.50, I believe. This little eye cream, I got it like as a sample because I purchased Clinique foundation. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful depuffing cream. It is not super pricey. Clinique is one of the cheaper brands, more affordable brands at Macy's, like compared to Estee Lauder or Lancome. But I was super impressed with this little eye cream. So this is just a sample, but I literally have maybe one less use out of it and I'll be done with it. And I actually will probably repurchase this one. All right, guys, some more products to talk about. So. One of my favorite foundations is Clinique. Even better, Makeup Broad Spectrum 15, evens and corrects. It's a very lightweight formula. It is not full coverage, but I would say it's about medium coverage. It still makes your skin look very dewy and as if you don't have any foundation on. And that's usually the look that I'm going for, especially for like every day. And so this is my second bottle. I already repurchased it. I have another full one sitting in my drawer because I just like it so much for daily use. I finished a few mascaras actually. I have this uh, Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. I would not recommend it. I didn't like it too much. I felt like it was too dry and it was like flaking down my eyelashes. Maybe I just got a, a bad tube or something because like from the start, it was really, really dry. Now this dot, Tartiste Mascara, this was amazing. I mean, I got it in my boxing charm and like I, I fell in love with this mascara. So I definitely want to repurchase that one. Then I just have a few more of these like uh, Deluxe Size Samples. This is by Clinique. It's their high impact mascara. Didn't like it at all. I feel like it didn't do anything for my eyes, for my eyelashes. Same thing with this Benefit Roller Lash. I used it in my last tutorial and I felt like you could barely see that my mascara was on and I had to apply it, apply like a few coats of this, which I usually don't have to do. Um, I like their other newer mascara a lot better. 
Another eye cream, this is by Clark's Botanicals Anti-Path Eye Cream. It's not a bad cream, but it's also not great, especially if you're trying that Clinique one that I just talked about and knowing that I should be seeing like a noticeable difference. I would say this is not a great one, especially if you're looking for like extreme deep puff slash uh, correct diet, um, dark circles. I maybe noticed a, a, a slight small change, but I will not be repurchasing this one. This is their little Deluxe Eye Sample Clinique Moisture Surge. A nice little moisturizer. I really enjoyed this. And I might repurchase this only because I felt like it was great to wear under foundation. It Cosmetics Number 50 Serum Anti-Aging Collagen. I used this as my primer for a while and um, it was great though. It moisturized my skin. It evened out like the texture and I feel like it didn't break up my foundation or anything like that. It would make my foundation layer very nicely. It would be a very expensive primer though because initially I thought it was a primer because I saw the word primer in here but I think this is just like a general serum. So I ran through this pretty quickly and I think it's like $50 which is why I'll probably not be repurchasing it in the near future. All right I have this Hydra C I contour gel cream by Marcel. This was a very nice eye cream to use in the morning just to reducing the appearance of your uh, darkness under eyes and it the concealer goes great on top of it. This is Lancome Advanced Genific Serum. I mean I, I definitely use it up. It comes with this little applicator. It's also for your under eyes. This is like serum for your under eyes. Supposedly, you should reduce your bags and circles. I honestly didn't see didn't see too much of a difference, and so this is a very expensive product. It's hundred and ten dollars, I believe, and I would not be repurchasing this one. I know this is weird that I'm showing you my toothpaste, but I just figured, you know, in case you're interested, I'm using this 3D Crest White Brilliance. It's a nice whitening toothpaste, and then. I have to combine the sensitivity toothpaste with the whitening toothpaste because I feel like my teeth would get really, really sensitive if I didn't. And this is Sensodyne Per Enamel Fresh Breath Toothpaste. It's great for uh, people with sensitive teeth. All right, guys, if you want to avoid some of the ingrown hair after shaving or after waxing, this is a great little solution. It's by Tend Skin. And you just kind of uh, soak your cotton pad in this and, and just wipe it all over the skin where you just shaved or uh, waxed and it works very very well actually. Next this is the Glam Glow um, little sample and this is their Thirsty Mod Hydrating Treatment. I really enjoy this and I might repurchase this. I know this is not a cheap or affordable brand so we'll see how that goes. And this is Marcel Hydra C24 Hour Energizing Hydrating Gel. I also enjoyed this little sample too, and I might be repurchasing that in the near future. Oh, a few more products, just like less things. Wish Botanical Primer. Do not purchase this, it didn't do too much for me at all. If anything, it made my foundation look a lot worse than it. I would just apply it to my natural skin. It would like break it all up, make it look cakey, so do not purchase this. Especially if you have dry skin. I don't know about oily skin. If you have dry skin, do not go for this primer. And this little silicone thing, I tried to use this because there was a little bit of hype a while back on YouTube with this um, little makeup tool. And I'm like, this is a joke. I mean, no, use a brush, use your hands. You'd be better off using your hands definitely a beauty sponge or anything like that but i'm tossing this it's not worth the money all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching please let me know which ones you've used up which items you like and which ones you've used up and i will see you later bye